Okay, we're back with some Deus Ex, and we're gonna have some startup lag for the first few minutes, and what you looking at? You want a piece of me? Come on, come on. Come on, get a piece of me, come on. Okay, he doesn't want a piece of me. He's just staring at the ground. Okay, now he's moving like a weirdo. Okay, so all this we left on with all the, of those side quests. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do some of those. Bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second... God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting? I know, it's so awful. Because you'd be the first to... I mean, you'd be... I'd be the first to what? Uh, um, to get fucked. That's pretty much what she's saying. Okay, Thab. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed. Okay, so pretty much I can activate and deactivate missions. I still have a bunch of stuff useless stuff in my inventory but it we'll use it sooner or later okay so okay never mind we're gonna keep them all Ooh. mrs. Reed oh Adam I'm sorry you startled me and please call me Cassandra you and Megan were together long enough I was waiting for you out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Uh, let's be... What's emphatic? I have no idea. Let me... Okay, let's be nice. I know what you nice. mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Well, you know, I have an augmented hand that helps me to jerk off, so it's great. They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Yeah, why not? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. 
I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Maybe he will. Or maybe not. So she just sits down like nothing happened and reads the book. You believe it? We had the place surrounded and we were ordered to hang back. Since when do we take orders from David Seraph? Maybe there was some hazardous material. Oh, um, like there was something illegal in that. They wanted their friends to come. How do I put the back? We should have never let that guy in. Um, help save the hostage. No. 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 How? Oh. Okay. That will help later on. Okay, so mainly I haven't been uploading uh, since school started, you know, and it's been a pain in the ass. Since I go to school in the high grades, it's really fucking annoying because you go out in the morning, you have some free time between lessons and mainly you come back late in the evening and when you start uh, doing the homework you f you finish them at like 10 in the evening and you have an hour left of freedom so you... what can you do? oh, oh my god, what can you do in that one hour? I mean, come on that's not much at all, like. So, mainly, what's this? Okay, is this a gun dealer? I don't think I need something. Okay, let's go to the limb clinic and wait a sec. Do we have any money? No, I don't need that. I need my inventory. Okay, do. We... Okay, I have 15k. Two Braxis points. Okay, so what we sh should we buy? I don't want to buy this. Confirm. Okay. Let's go to the limb cleaning. Buy. approve of these protests. These I don't. people are drug pushers. Okay, let me guess. Okay, there's gonna be a loading screen. Mr. Jensen, David Seraph told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Okay, I got some 5k and I hate those loading screens, they suck. What's good? Hypersteam Praxis points, I don't want anything right now. As you wish. Take care of yourself. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna look around, if you don't mind. If you mind, well, then you're... Then my bad. Okay, let's read this quickly. Okay. This also... Pause it if you like. If no, then skip it. Your choice. I've never been under anesthesia before. 
Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? Uh, more or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV. You'll be asked to count back. Mr. Seraph, okay. Um. Dum. Dum, dum, dum. Jensen Adam, that's me. Blood, no, allergies found. Okay, so that's about me. I'm gonna read that later. I don't want to waste time, so that's all. No, nothing, nothing else, nothing I could steal, maybe? What's this? Oh, they're trying to be slick and hide stuff. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Let's go look around then. Let me out. Okay, is there um, another book? And some more XP. Nothing. Okay. Okay, then let's go. Can I enter? No. Oh. Okay, so where did those guys go? Maybe. Okay. So let's leave. Since we don't need to be here anymore, let's leave and have another wonderful. Is not against the law. I know that, officer. Wonderful loading screen. Okay. Loading screens are great. Adam? Yeah, I just spoke to Vera Markovic. You aren't getting any Praxis kits installed? All you said to do was see the doctor. I did that. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just surprised you didn't take advantage of the account I set up for you. But no matter. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, Consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Okay. Ooh, these guys jamming. Come on, come on, come on. I want to dance with you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at my moves. Look at my moves. Come on. I can do better than you. Come on. A duel. Come on. Don't, don't, don't. Man, this town is dead. I should have just moved the build up. What the? Look at me jamming. Come on. Okay, he's a jerk. He doesn't like me jamming. Okay, so I'm not gonna go to the police station yet. I'm gonna do a side mission since I'm afraid that they're gonna disappear when I go to the police station. So screw that. So where do I need to go actually? Um, um okay. And I need to go to here now? Not there. I do believe somewhere here maybe? Yes, yes, no. Sadly no. Okay, so... Straight? Really? Okay, uh, apparently I took the completely wrong turn. What's this? Manhole. Okay. Um... Um, okay, I cannot get through here, so apparently I'm gonna have to go back. Wait, I just did a 360 for no reason. So let's go back here and look around. I am complete. I'm really bad at maps, so sorry. I can get really lost really fast and have no idea where to go damn frap slag why are you doing this to me right now why are you doing this indeed come on stop doing that Fra fraps is being a jerk right now so oh come hello hey, babies Jensen. long time no see Jensen my god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, 
I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Um. That's flirt. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict rowballers. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Uh, about... Uh... Wait. I'm not getting any rewards. Okay, I said. Yeah, a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Okay, let's okay. do that. But we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True, but thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me, I usually play by the book. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. Okay. Uh, hitman. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession. So the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. 